Hey guys, The Simple Student here. Welcome to episode 22 of Java Programmer for Beginners. Today we're going to look at printing out the array we made the last time into a table. Okay, so this is the same array we made the last time, array 2. And to start off with, we're just going to make the header. So we're going to say system.out.println And basically what we're going to put inside is just a header. So we're going to say one column for index. Then backslash t, what this backslash t is, is just a tab, and then the value. Okay, and semicolon. So we have an ar our array, we have our title. Let's just run this to see it's working. Yeah, so now we have index, tab, value. Now what we're going to do is make a for loop. We, made, we showed you how to do this a few videos back, so for int count. We can initialize this counter inside the for loop. I don't think I showed you that, but you can do it anyway, and it's fairly simple. So count equals zero. Count less than um, array two dot length. Okay. What this array two dot length is is basically um, it basically gets the length of the array and uses it. So we want to say while count is less than the length of the array. Okay. Um, so that's what that does. And then count plus plus. So this is just going to go through the array and get all the indexes and the values. And now for our print statement we're just going to say system dot out dot print and then we want to print what the count is. Then we want to print another tab, just to keep it matching with our titles. And then we want to print the value of array2 at that same index. So the index will be count. Okay, and semicolon. And let's run that and see. Yeah, okay, so we've got our lovely table there laid out. See the way the tab worked nicely there? Okay, so that's that. Uh, one thing I don't think I explained it very well was this length. So this is basically a method that you can use on an array to see how many values are in the array. So that's quite useful for this program where we need to find how many values are in the array so we know how many we're printing out. That's all for this episode guys. I just wanted to show you a very simple program on how to display the information in an array. In the next video we're going to look at how to get the average of an array of integers. And then we might start looking at arrays that have different types of variables in them. Thanks for watching, this has been The Simple Student, and I'll see you next time.